Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and in this video, we're gonna go over the brand new 11.4 Mac OS Big Sur update. All the new features of this update in under five minutes, and we're gonna do it on the brand new 24 inch 2021 M1 iMac. Some of the features of this update include the changes that are only for this Mac. So we got a lot to cover in a very small amount of time, so let's jump in and get started. The first update was for Safari. Safari was updated from 14.1 to 14.1.1. Every time the current release of the operating system like Big Sur is released, the Safari update is included inside the macOS Big Sur update. The next thing we wanna talk about is support for new video cards. AMD RDN2 architecture, the 6800, the 6800 XT, the 6900 XT are now supported in macOS Big Sur 11.4. The next thing we wanna talk about is that some some of the splash screens for podcasts and music have been updated. So let's take a look at that real quick. So if we open up podcasts on a previous version, you can see that the Windows looks like it's the same, but they modified the text at the bottom to talk about privacy features here. Your device trust score is used to prevent fraud. Data on your podcast listening and interactions is collected to improve and personalize service that is not associated with your Apple ID. The same thing that they did with Apple Music. If you open up Apple Music on the previous version, you can see that it was also modified to talk about your personalized experience. So that's a, a very small change that most people didn't notice. Also new is the search bar. If you click on the search bar on a previous version of Big Sur, you'll get search for Apple Podcasts. If you click on the search bar in the new version 11.4, you immediately are brought to categories that you can browse on different subjects. So if you wanted to click on comedy, you could click on comedy and you would get suggested podcasts in that particular category. The next thing is that podcast subscriptions are now available via monthly and annual subscriptions. So for example, if your podcast creator now wants to have a subscription, there's gonna be a button here that's gonna allow you to subscribe. I've tried to search to see if I could find any that has the subscriptions and nothing that I can find has, has that available yet. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that to see what that looks like. The next thing I wanted to talk about is a new appearance options for the new M1 iMacs. If you look up here, you can see that the accent color is selected for this Mac. It comes default like that. As you can see on this Mac Pro, there is no such option. And it also is a new this Mac on the highlighted color. If you click on there, you see this Mac. And if you click here, you see all the accent colors, but you don't see this Mac, along with a brand new screen saver that was added just for the iMac. So let's scroll down here. We can see the brand new hello, screensaver. Let's take a look at that preview. A new to the brand new iMac is that Apple's kind of brought back the previous version of the intro video. I took a video of that and I thought it would be cool for other people to see. This is what happens when you first start up your brand new iMac. You get the hello in all different languages. And Apple used to have an intro from previous versions of OS X that it had, you know, for example, Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard, all had an intro video that said welcome in different languages. Brought that back. There is no music on there, but it's cool that they brought that back for and again, that's only for the iMac. If you're interested, I also did a really quick eight minute overview of the brand new iMac in this video here. It doesn't include an unboxing and there's no surprise face thumbnail. So I think that you guys would really enjoy that. So click on the link right here if you wanna take a look at that. The next thing is, is that I wanna show you, a lot of people have been asking, hey, can I add that hello screen saver to my Mac? And the answer is yeah. I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. The first thing you wanna do is do command shift G and then this is the go to folder path. Do a forward slash and then capital S for system, hit tab to autocomplete, then do L for library, autocomplete, then SC for screensavers, and then hit or enter or go. Now you're in the screensaver folder. Here's the hello screensaver. Highlight it and then command C to copy it and then click on your desktop, command V to paste it. Now the screensaver is on your desktop. The next thing we wanna do is rename it. So let's click on it one time and you'll see it highlight. We'll do add just whatever. We can just do uh, install. Now it's rename. All you need to do now is double click on it and it's saying hello screensaver must be installed before you can use it. Do you want to install it now for all users in this computer? Click install. And now all you need to do is scroll down and there's our hello screensaver and you're done. Check that out. 
Now, if you're looking for the full installer, I've got a page here that'll grab you the full Mac OS Big Sur installer. I updated it for 11.4. If you have an M1 Mac and you want to be able to do a DFU restore, I also included that link. I've got a link here to all the security updates for 11.4. There's a lot of very important ones here that are fixed in this release, 58 of them. So that's one thing that you really want to take care of. And as always, if I find anything new that I didn't put in here, I'm going to update this article and I'll put the updates in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.